didn't play well? You did good on the game show, man? You're I'm doing really so well. good. Well, it's, it's fun to do things other than, you know, really, give speeches really, really and good, do political right? stuff. Yeah. I was Thank thinking you. if you had a game show about the characters I've played, the topics would be like emasculation and trauma. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they would have. Well, speaking of which. Yes, yes. Um, so when I was mayor of South Bend, people would always ask me, like, what TV show my life resembled most? I mean, okay. you had Parks and Recreation, which is literally about local government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, there's some tough days that were a little bit like something sure, on the wire. Sure, sure, Once in a very long while, there'd be something that reminded me of the West Wing. But by far the most, s sadly, the most realistic yeah. political show in many ways yeah. was Veep. And I wonder how many yeah. times you encountered people who work in politics yeah. who talk about how as absurd as it is, it also yeah. captured a lot of the reality of being involved yeah. in politics. And that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but the thing is, like, I, I, this is why I miss it. Sometimes I watch the news and I want to laugh, but I feel guilty about laughing. And it was a nice political outlet that you didn't feel guilty to laugh at. You know, yeah. so I, that's what I miss. And yeah, I you could channel like, it into that. Yeah, you could channel that. But, like, when I hear that, I'm like, oh, that's, that's not good news. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? But beyond Veep, you've got, uh, I think you will now have uh, sh shows on all of the five major streaming services. Really? Which, which is a real feat. And, and oh, I mean, that's got me nice. thinking, you know, in My politics. My parents will finally let <laughs> <laughs> The day has come. So here's what I'm thinking. We've got to think of a name for it. Like in politics, oh, if, if okay. you do, they call it the full Ginsburg, named oh. after uh, Bill Clinton's lawyer in the 90s. He was the first one to do it, where okay. you appear on all five Sunday shows. I did it once in New Hampshire. Okay, it's, okay, it's, it's okay. Very, so, so I figured we got to create a name. I don't know, the full Tony, the full Hale. Oh, I like the full uh, Tony. The, of course, there's probably actors out there that are like, yeah, I'm on all five. It's no big deal. <laughs> um, but it is, right? I mean, I like you've been, you've been working Tony. a lot, doing a lot of different projects. Yeah, very, very thankful. I mean, I, I really miss Veep. Like, I, we really got close. I don't know if you've met Julia, who played yeah, Selena. Yeah, fantastic. And, I just, I love it. And speaking of, like, when we would go to D.C., and there were a lot of people who, who loved the show, and the characters on the show named were, like, Dan and, and Gary and um, Selena, and people in D.C. would be like, oh, I'm Dan on your show. And someone would say, like, I'm Selena on your show. And I was like, that's, they're horrible people. <laughs> Why are you saying this out loud? <laughs> It's just, they're like, oh my God, I'm the Amy in my office. And I'm like, please, stop talking. <laughs> yeah, really, the, the less it re you resemble yeah. anybody on the show, yeah, yeah, yeah. the better. Yeah. But we, I just, I love those. And I really, really miss them a lot, a lot. Right. Another great thing about the show is I feel like you, among all the characters, probably got to do the most physical comedy. Oh, yeah, because I wasn't allowed to speak. <laughs> I, I, would, I would stand behind Selena. I was even called, my character was even called a bitchy mime on the show. <laughs> And she, and I'm, I'm very curious, because when you're talking to people and maybe you don't like them, but you obviously can't say it, and then do you've <laughs> never had a, you've, happens. You've, never, never, ever happens. happens. Never. No. You've had a body, you've had, because I was what's called a body yeah. man. Right. And you've probably had one of them. Yeah, those. yeah, her name is Sarah Lena. Couldn't live without her. Yes, I mean, yes, always yes. there. And, yeah. Yeah, that's not her. Yes. Yeah. And she, um, the thing is, though, like, is it weird when you're talking to someone and then she comes up and whispers something in your ear about them? Because I would have to do that to her. And I would always think, like, is that weird that I'm giving her information about the person she's talking to? Yeah, I mean, this is the strange thing about being in that role, right, is that you're, uh, in, in many ways, you ask the team to help kind of manage you. Uh, because yeah, they're yeah, keeping yeah. you well-informed. They're yeah. thinking about all these different things so you don't have to. And you yeah. really rely on that kind of knowledge yeah. that, that they can provide. And Although, I don't know if she does this, but I was allowed to non-verbally say what she couldn't say. Now, I could so, use that. I yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, she really didn't like a guy, and I could just stand behind her and just be like, what a douche, you know? <laughs> and, sorry, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> but, like, I could give a lot of nonverbal, and she couldn't obviously say that, so that was fun. Yeah. So let's talk about this new project, Archibald's Next yes. Big Thing. It's, yes. uh, it's a show for children. It's animated. What's yes. it like, again, because uh, a lot of your work has been physical comedy. You've got this stage yes. presence. What's it like doing voice work? And oh, it's so fun. Your character that way? Well, the, the, Arch the, the show came from, I did this children's book years Years ago with my buddies Tony and Victor and it was about a little chicken who's always looking to his next thing and missing where he is so it's about being present and the show it was called Archibald's next big thing and now the show is he treats everything like it's a big thing and so he sees the best in everyone and the best in every situation which I think we need more of in our world by the way sounds like something American needs yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's it's so it's so fun and the, the <laughs> recently my friend it's really fun doing the voice of my friend, Julie Hall. She has this two-year-old named uh, Harper. It's a sweet little two-year-old. And she was having a hard time putting Harper in the car seat. And she says, Tony, will you do, because she watches Archibald, she said, will you do Archibald's voice for Harper? And so I go, hey, Harper, how you doing? This is right. And the child went into a catatonic state. <laughs> she just stared. All the, all the color left her face. 
and then she was able to put her in a car seat. Stuff so in her trucks. So I am available for birthday parties. <laughs> and it's just stuff like that is really, really, really fun. I That's love it. That's so great. That's so great. Well, uh, thanks so much for, uh, for joining for us. Uh, season two of Archibald's Next Big Thing premieres March 20th on Netflix. Tony Hale, everybody. We'll be right back with music from Janae Iko and Miguel. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.